David De Gea's move to Real Madrid failed previously thanks to a rogue fax machine. Everybody's favourite fax machine. Buggered up on transfer deadline day. We kept David De Gea and he has been outstanding since. Now, of course, it's not even the summer yet, he is being linked to Real Madrid once again. Now, James Ducker from The Telegraph is saying that Man United face a fight this summer because Real Madrid are rekindling their interest in David De Gea and are willing to pay a world record fee for a goalkeeper to lure him back to his native Madrid. But what I wanted to do here was a quick video on whether you think David De Gea is going to join Real Madrid this summer and I wanted to give my opinion on the whole situation. I completely understand if David De Gea wants to return to Madrid. Born in Madrid, played through the youth teams at Atletico Madrid, came through into the first team at Atletico. That's when he joined Manchester United. His family's from Madrid, his girlfriend lives in Madrid. There's so many reasons that will bring him back to Madrid. So I don't think you can begrudge him for wanting to return there. And I genuinely think it is a case of when and not if he goes. I just don't want it to be this summer. And I think it's a bit different to Cristiano Ronaldo, who's Portuguese born. He always had a dream to play for Real Madrid. And he forced a move, said he was a slave at Man United. That didn't go down very well, obviously. And he went on to become an incredible player at Real Madrid. Not that he wasn't already an incredible player before he left, but the situations are different. David De Gea has different reasons for wanting to go back to Madrid, and that's why I don't think you can begrudge him for wanting to do so. That being said, just the concept of selling David De Gea to Madrid for money, just to get a world record fee for a goalkeeper, makes absolutely no sense to me. For me, in this situation, Man United are in the driving seat for negotiations. We've been weak in recent years. Look at Thiago Alcantara, Cesc Fabregas, Muller, Bale. So many failed transfers have made a bit of a mockery of United in the transfer window. Mourinho changed that last year. Wanted four players, got all four players. If Madrid want De Gea and United don't want to sell him, then United need to ask for a player in return. A player that Madrid have no intention of selling, but a player that we want. I'm looking at Tony Cruz and I'm looking at Rafael Varane. I'm looking at two players there who would fix key issues in this current squad that United have. And yes, Madrid will not want to sell either of those players, but we don't want to sell David De Gea. So if we are going to let De Gea go to Madrid, then we need to get something back. Something that Madrid don't want to let go. And make sure we take an upper hand in this negotiations. Because we got 85 million for Ronaldo. Was that ever really properly reinvested? Maybe it is now, but it certainly wasn't at the time. And if Man United fill their coffers with loads of money for David De Gea, that won't change anything in our transfer window. It just means we've lost one of the world's best players, the world's best goalkeeper. So if he is going to leave, I want something back from you, Madrid. But one thing to really consider is why would David De Gea leave now? He's, he's endured David Moyes for a year. He's had Louis van Gaal for two years. You know, the ambition of Man United is now returned. We've got Jose Mourinho, we've got Pogba, Ibrahimovic, Mkhitaryan, Bailey. We linked with Antoine Griezmann from his former club, Atletico Madrid. We are hopefully going to get back into the Champions League this year. We're in the Europa League semi-final. We've won the League Cup. We're hoping for a top four finish. I, I would have understood if De Gea forced a move previously. But to force a move away from United now, after we're recuperating, we're getting back to being United, it would be strange timing from from David De Gea to do that, I think, anyway. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But as I said, the reports are already coming out that Man United are going to face a fight to hold on to David De Gea this summer. It wouldn't surprise me if Real Madrid did rekindle their interest. But for me, if United are going to lose the world's best goalkeeper, I want one of the world's best midfielders or one of the world's best defenders in return. That seems fair to me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Ideally, De Gea stays and stays for a long time. I would much rather we keep De Gea than get Cruz or Varane. But if he is to leave, we need to make sure it's on United's terms. What would you do? Who would you replace De Gea with? You've got Donnarumma from AC Milan. You've got obviously got Loris from Spurs. Butnam from Stoke. Pickford from Sunderland. Lots and lots of goalkeepers that we are going to get linked with. Oblak from Atletico Madrid. Don't forget about him. If De Gea leaves this summer. And if he does leave... Who do you want to see as number one? Maybe Sergio Romero? Let me know in the comments below, as always. Drop a like on the video. We'll do a separate video on De Gea's replacement, but I want to know what you think now. Um, subscribe to United People's TV if you are new. And we'll see you soon. Take it easy.